I learned what it means to host the presence of God at nine years old. And it was something that I kind of just stumbled into. Um, Nobody taught me how to worship God. Nobody taught me that this is how you do this. It was kind of just something I just tapped into. And today, as I was reflecting on how I've been able to develop and grow in hosting the presence of God and how over the years that has become more mature um, in my life, it's simply because I literally do not come to God with any other motive except that it's just him and I in a room when I'm praying and I'm praying to the one who created me, who knows me, who formed me. And when I'm singing through worship to him, I'm literally just coming into a room and it's him that I'm singing to. It's him that I'm magnifying. I don't have any other agenda. And I believe that God is marking and increasing his glory in places where people do not have any other agenda except to magnify his name and to give him glory. And I just, when you guys are listening to these worship songs, I pray that that is what is happening. That you hear, because you haven't been able to see just yet, but that's going to change. That it's just me and the God I say I love in a room and I'm singing to him. And you get to join in with that. Because really, it doesn't matter about what I sing if I don't truly believe the confession of what I'm singing. If I don't truly believe the word of what I'm singing. I vow to God that I would never be a false worshiper. A person who sings about it. A person who walks into a church or an event or wherever I'm at. And I just sing about this God that I don't know. I'm never going to lead anybody into a falsehood. I'll sit down and delete this channel before I ever do it.